Hello friends, we are going to start with the subject high voltage engineering. The name of the chapter is conduction and breakdown in air and other gases dielectrics. In this chapter, we are going to study the first topic that is collision process and ionization process in gas. <music> Let us start with the first understanding of the gas. What is gas? What is collision? And what is ionization? So basically gas is an insulating material. This gas can be used in different electrical applications like circuit breaker in cables and the purpose of that is to act as an insulation. So gas is basically an insulation which is used in electrical appliances, applications like circuit breaker, cables, etc. But a breakdown in this gas insulating material takes place. Now, what is that breakdown? That we have to study considering the ionization process and under that we have to study the collision process and there is one more method to complete that ionization process that is bombardment that is bombardment process now for that purpose let us consider simple circuit which consists of two electrodes separated by a certain distance d and connected with the supply voltage v this application of voltage develops an electric field between the gap. That electric field is represented by the dotted line. The electric field is basically developed due to the supply voltage which is given to it, where negative is connected to one electrode and that electrode attains and represented as cathode. The positive of the supply voltage is given to another electrode which is represented as anode which attains positive charge on the plate. These two electrodes are separated by certain distance as I said. So let that distance be small d. Due to this application of voltage the electric field is developed in the insulating gas so initially the gas acts as insulating material and due to the completion of ionization process that insulating gas becomes the conducting gas and this conducting gas forms or finds experiences the breakdown and that is called as breakdown of insulating material. So let us understand this process of ionization. For that purpose, consider the first ionization by collision. Now to understand that ionization by collision, consider the same electrodes separated by a certain distance D. This gap is filled with the insulating gas. This insulating gas consists of neutral molecules. Those neutral molecules are represented with N, red in color. Then the electrode which is connected with the negative supply of the source attains negative polarity on the electrode hence called as cathode. The positive of the supply voltage attains positive polarity on the electrode represented as anode. Now, when the photon energy that is UV lights falls on the cathode with high voltage application this UV 
अल्ट्रावायलेट लाइट और फोटोन एनर्जी रिलीजेस वन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द कैथोड ड्यू टू हाई कैनेटिक एनर्जी दट इलेक्ट्रॉन स्टार्ट ट्रेवल टूवर्ड्स द एनोड ड्यूरिंग दिस ट्रेवल इट कोलाइड विद द इंसुलेटिंग गैस न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल्स वेन इट कोलाइड विद दैट न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल इट रिलीजेस वन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट ऑफ द न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल विच आर लूजली बाउंड एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन विच इज इमिटेड और रिलीज फ्रॉम द कैथोड सो द टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन बिकम्स टू वन इलेक्ट्रॉन विच हेज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द कैथोड ड्यू टू द इमिशन और ड्यू टू द फॉल ऑफ अल्ट्रावायलेट लाइट एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस कोलिशन विद द न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल वन मोर इलेक्ट्रॉन गेट रिलीज सो हियर दिस पर्टिक्युलर प्रोसेस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कोलिजन प्रोसेस रिलीजेस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ड्यूरिंग वन कोलिशन इट मीन्स वन इलेक्ट्रॉन कोलिजन विद द न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल रिलीजेस वन इलेक्ट्रॉन more than the present with the positive ion now this formation of electron and positive ions in between the gap of the electrodes is called as ionization is called as ionization and this ionization process basically is due to only the first process that is collision process so hence this ionization process is called as ionization by collision now let us understand the another method called as the secondary ionization process now this secondary ionization process completely depends on the primary ionization now here i just take the help of this primary ionization where i just start with the ultraviolet light which falls on the cathode when at that ultraviolet light falls on the cathode that emits one electron from it this electron get collide with the neutral molecule so that that develops one more electron with the present electron and positive ion now these two electrons which are developed in between the gap so there are two electrons now that moves towards the anode and positive ion which is developed during this collision move towards the cathode so again we know the negative positive polarities which are connected to the electrodes negative is attained by the electrode called cathode positive attained by the electrode called anode so this cathode and anode where the electrons get attracted towards the anode and positive ion get attracted towards the cathode you can see in the diagram so as i said electron has started from the cathode in first ionization process during this bombardment it releases one electron from the neutral molecule and the electron which was initiated from the cathode so the total electrons becomes two in between the gap of the electrodes and a positive ion which is developed move towards the cathode now this positive ion which moves towards the cathode get bombarded bombardment of the bombardment of the positive ion with the cathode material with the cathode material releases one more electron or few more electrons from the cathode and this release of or emission of electrons from the cathode work place again 
travel towards the anode. The energy gained by those electrons again get collide with the neutral molecule which are present in the gases insulating material. And this collision of electron with the neutral molecule uh, releases again few more number of electrons from it. So one electron which has again started from the cathode due to this bombardment of positive ion on the cathode with one electron and positive ion initiated during collision. Now again we have more number of electrons which moves towards the anode and positive ion move towards the cathode. Move towards the cathode. So this process continues till the gap between the electrodes get ionized completely. Get ionized completely. So this ionization of the insulating gas, ionization of the insulating gas is nothing but the formation of electrons, formation of electrons and protons or positive ions in between the gap. And this formation of ionization converts that gap from insulating to conducting. From insulating to conducting. So this way, this process of collision and bombardment takes place in between the gap of the electrodes which converts that gas insulating material into the gas conducting material. So that's all with this understanding of the first topic collision process and ionization process in gas. So before I close, I just want to revise what is mean by ionization. Ionization means the formation of electrons and positive ions. Collision and bombardment are the two methods under that. Collision takes place initially due to the emission of one electron from cathode workplace and during travel from cathode to anode that electron get collide and therefore that process is called as collision process. This collision develops positive ions also which travel towards the cathode. And this positive ions which travel towards the cathode get bombarded on the cathode workplace which release one more electron from the cathode. And that one more electron which is emitted travel towards the anode and during that travel again that forms the primary ionization. And this completes the ionization process which converts or which makes that gas and gap ionized. So which converts insulating gas into the conducting gas. Okay. So this is called as ionization process. That's all with this. Thank you so much guys. Take care.